One. So when the running Rebels arrive here tomorrow for the Final Four, they're going to be staying in this locker room right here, the one used by the Tulane football team. They're going to head out the door, go down this hallway right here, and enter the Superdome. And Superdome is really no exaggeration in this case. You walk into the arena and you will see it holds 63,000 people for basketball. Now since the Superdome opened in August of 75, they have held four Super Bowls, 12 Sugar Bowls, and now it's second Final Four. So all this morning, workmen were putting the finishing touches on the arena for the big show tomorrow. You know they got a special court here. The NCAA paid $45,000 to get this special blue painting on the court and a special sheen so that it looks just right for TV tomorrow. They've also got these special seats, courtside. Look at these things. NCAA Final Four seats. Uh, they look a little too nice for Bobby Knight to be thrown out on the court, don't you think? So this is it. Whew, the top row. At the New Orleans Superdome. Geez, what a climb. We thought we'd make this climb so you could see, you know, what it's like to come all this way. Thank goodness the press seats are way down there. You know, what I find hard to believe is that people would come all the way up here and make this climb just to see a Saints game. While well, walking around here today, we found what appears to be the Saints locker room here, or apparently that's where they stay or something. But take a look in this place. And now, you'd think with players that big, they'd be a little bit better in the NFL, wouldn't you? But basketball is the main game this weekend. All four teams worked out in the Superdome this morning. Now, Bobby Knight's Indiana Hoosiers took the court first, and Steve Alford couldn't miss out there. The Rebels are hoping he spends more time running than shooting tomorrow. He's one of the best players in the nation, and what they do, their whole office is geared for getting him open. So, you know, it's going to be tough for me, Gary, and Fred to stay with him because we're going to be getting picked you know, every time we turn around. The defense is habitual with us right now. I think uh, it's real repetitious in ways that we don't have to, uh, we don't, we don't have to guess. I mean, it comes natural. That I don't really believe anybody's going to stop Alfred. We just hope that we can keep him under control and keep him, you know, where he doesn't just have a, an unbelievable night. You're not going to stop him. The Rebels took the court for about an hour today. They wanted to make sure their Nikes could grab and move like they're supposed to. With 37 wins, the Rebels have that running game down pretty good by now. But for the Hoosiers, it's a hard thing to prepare for. Sometimes when a team is uh, a really good rebounding team or a real good shooting team or very quick, a physical characteristic that, uh, that separates them from a lot of teams, it's very tough to simulate that in practice. You Afterwards, a couple of coaching legends decided to touch base with each other. What a sight it was. Tomorrow, it's game time.